2020 Democrats are slamming a State Department policy that is stopping some Americans born outside of the United States from obtaining citizenship, their birthright citizenship. This policy says that children born abroad with the help of surrogacy or other forms of reproductive technologies are considered to be born, quote, out of wedlock, even if their parents are legally married. And that means that these children are stripped of that birthright citizenship that they have historically been entitled to until the Trump administration started this new policy here recently in the last couple of years. And so far, it's same-sex couples who have a child by a surrogate in another country who are facing these legal and logistical hurdles that could ultimately keep them separated from their children. CNN reached out to the State Department. They said they do not comment on pending litigation. They said this is long-standing guidance, but we have a couple here to tell us about how it is certainly not. Rowe and Adi El Kavidi are two parents who have not been able to get citizenship for their two-month-old daughter, Kasem. Uh, you were able to get citizenship for your son, Lev. And I just want to thank you both for coming on to share your story. I want you to first talk about Lev. These are, both of these kids, these are, these are biologically your children. They have either, uh, they have one of your genes. And the, this is the telling aspect is how this has been treated differently when you had Lev back in 2016 before this law was reinterpreted. And then you're dealing with the different challenge with Kassem. Walk us through what happened with Lev when you brought him home from Canada. Well, it, it was a straightforward procedure. Uh, we went to the federal building, to the National Passport Office. We submitted the application for a passport just like anyone else would. We gave a copy of our marriage certificate uh, and a copy of his birth certificate. We are the only parents on his birth certificate. We're the only parents on our daughter's birth certificate. Uh, and we got Lev's passport within two days. Uh, this was back in uh, uh, January of 2017. Um, we did the exact same process with our daughter uh, Kesem earlier uh, this month. Uh, and then received a phone call uh, indicating that uh, this was being treated as an out-of-wedlock birth. And as such, uh, there are additional requirements uh, that need to be met, additional documentation that needs to be supplied. And Adiel, tell me about that. What, what, what were you told and, and what does this set up for your family, these challenges? Are, the, are these challenges you can meet? Or is this keeping you and your, and your daughter from having this right that your son is entitled to? So this is a very strange situation where a suburban family, uh, we are both American citizens. We've, we've been married for six years now. Our son is American citizen. And we have a two months old baby girl that is, application is not approved. Um, basically what we were told is that um, effectively our marriage means nothing. Um, saying that our daughter was born out of wedlock um, just means that she's not our daughter, it's not, it's not a real marriage, it's not a real family. That's basically what the State Department is saying. It, it's, it's really preposterous. You're not the only family that is in this situation. And, and I also want to mention, Adiel, that one of the logistical hurdles that you're now facing here is proving that you've lived in the U.S. for five years because you are, you are a citizen. Uh, you came from Israel. And because of that, since you came in 2015, you've narrowly missed this five-year window. What is that creating for you? Yeah, I mean, it's really absurd. Um, um, I probably missed the cutoff by three months, but I think that the main issue is that by, by American law, when a child is born abroad to a, a married American couple, uh, this child is, is entitled to uh, citizenship by birth without any, um, any consideration of residency of the parents. Two American parents, a child is born abroad, the mar parents are married, the child should get a citizenship by birth. Um, the State Department um, understanding or interpretation of the law is totally flawed and it's we feel that it, it targets specifically LGBT families because to be honest when a straight couple is using surrogacy or, or when a straight couple is using an egg donation or sperm donation um, nobody asks them if they are the biological parents of the child it's just an, it's just an assumption but when an LGBT family is coming and applying um, we, our, our application was flagged as, as surrogacy and we were marked and um, basically the State Department applied a, a very um, unjustified criteria on our family.
And to be clear, Brianna, a federal judge already ruled against the State Department on this in February, and the State Department this week decided to appeal that. But the judge said very clearly that the State Department, following the Supreme Court's decision, has to treat same-sex married couples as married. And, uh, and, and what's happening is that we're being denied of those rights. We're being denied of that process.